know, the excitement, the excitement is rich in this room. Can you smell la, 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 the incense? Because Pope Francis is now on American soil. And folks, I could not, I as a Catholic, I could not be more humbly excited. Yay, men. <laughs> the People's Pope made headlines the second he arrived, getting picked up at the airport, not in a limousine, but in a fiat. <laughs> proving he's not only a man of great humility, but also a man of tremendous faith. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, please let this car make it to the hotel for low. It is but a motorized roller skates. The Pope then visited the White House, greeted by a lavish South Lawn welcome, the most regal of pageantries that Washington has to offer. Oh, the pageantry, it's just like a wedding. The guest of honor even wore a white dress. And the Pope really enjoyed a short nap because apparently, he fell asleep during the ceremony. <laughs> but come on, cut the guy some slack. He's got jet lag. He was in Cuba yesterday, and the time difference is 1952. <laughs> it's a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind. I gotta get me one of those. I gotta get me one of those. It's a whirlwind tour of the United States for Il Papa. With stops in Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and New York City, sticking to the East Coast, of course, because of that beef he has with hologram Tupac. <laughs> hey, folks, as a Catholic, I am a total Francis fanboy. But not everybody likes what he's doing. Since he took office, Pope Francis has been modernizing the Vatican. He's embraced evolution, welcomed gay worshipers, and released the Ten Commandments as a BuzzFeed listicle. <laughs> Thy neighbor's wife will love number nine. The Pope even went so far as to call capitalism, quote, the dung of the devil. Which, by the way, was also the name of my high school metal band. But you know, but what's really getting people's chaws a bowl in a bunch are statements on climate change, like this one at the White House this morning. Except in the urgency, it seems clear to me also that climate change is a problem we can no longer be left to a future generation. All right, English isn't his first language. <laughs> that might have been a little tough to catch. Let me just, let me just read it to you. Us have time no urgency. It seems clear to me also that climate change a problem no longer belies your generation. Anyway, the pontiff, he read it pretty well, actually. He read it pretty well. What the pontiff is asking is for all of us to change our position on carbon emissions, which is surprising because for years the church has had a clear a missionary position. <laughs> this. <laughs> this is a bold. <laughs> this is a bold step forward for my church, and as a Catholic, I couldn't be prouder, except, of course, for all the things I'm ashamed of. <laughs> but some don't like it out there. And anger at the Pope's views on global warming will come to a head tomorrow morning because Catholic Arizona Congressman and Supercuts test model Paul Gozer <laughs> has announced he is boycotting Pope Francis's address to Congress, adding, if the Pope wants to devote his life to fighting climate change, then he can do so in his personal time. <laughs> Just personal time? What personal time are you talking about, Gozer Gozerian? A pope is always pope, even when he's pooped. I mean, for Pete's sake, he even works on Sundays. Even worse, Gozer also said about the pope, to promote questionable science as Catholic dogma is ridiculous. So I guess what the congressman is saying is the pope should be promoting hard science, like walking on water and virgin births. Come on. Come on. One Catholic to another, Gozer, 
Hoc est torum stercore. <laughs> this is the vicar of Christ you're walking out on. I don't give a flying flock what your personal doctrine is. You do not disrespect the Bishop of Rome. And if you're so stuck on the, your ways, and yes, it's hard for me to talk, I'm so angry. <laughs> and if you're so stuck in your ways that you would give up your chance to hear the words of our Holy Father, then can I have your tickets? <laughs> Just overnight them to Stephen Colbert, care of the Ed Sullivan Theater. And if I run into the Pope, I got you covered. I'll have the nearest three-year-old cut my hair, and I'll say I'm you. 